So after Sunday's win with the Ravens, not only beat one of the AFC's hottest team, they beat them boys down. Stephen A. Smith said he still has questions about one Lamar Jackson. Let's hear it. What do I always say about the quarterback spot, uh, Molly? The court? It's about accuracy. Hmm. It's about accuracy. And by the way, when it counts. Mm -hmm. So I took the liberty of doing my own research, Michael Irvin, and I went back into the archives and I looked at these things. Lamar Jackson has played in four playoff games. Okay. Three of them, he's failed to reach 60% completion with his passes. Mm -hmm. The last time we saw Lamar Jackson in the postseason, he overcame his maladies the first two years, 2018, 2019, by beating Tennessee last year. With 70% of his passes, threw for 179 yards, obviously he had a rushing touchdown, he did his thing in that game. Then he went up against Buffalo. He was held to three points, completed 58% of his passes. Lamar Jackson has been dominant in the regular season. Dominant. He's been that way since he took over as a starter. Uh, we're, okay, that's right. Like, 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 like five of the 35 wins, and then, you know, what, 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 what we talk about, like five or six losses and 35 wins in a regular season? Yep. Lamar Jackson is spectacular. Mm -hmm. You get all of that in the regular season. Yep. But you see, when you, when we start talking about you, and we use words like greatness and what have you, what solidifies that? Playmaker, Super Bowl champion, Hall of Famer. What solidifies that? It's what you do when it counts. Both seasons when it counts. Now, we saw him perform against Kansas City, second week of the season or so, second, third week of the season, big time performance. We saw what he did yesterday. Okay, we saw what he did on Monday Night Football and that comeback victory over the Indianapolis Colts. We saw all of that. But the reality is, is that he's phenomenal. We've seen all of that before. What we're waiting to see is that when you've got the Patrick Mahomes and the Josh Allens of the world, potentially a Justin Herbert of the world, or anybody else standing there as roadblocks to the ultimate glory you are unquestionably in pursuit of. When we're looking for that, where are you? Stephen A, I got some words for you. Clean though, of course. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like got to made it, how to made it. Well, he's a fan and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. And you know just So YouTube team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video and boy it's crazy because we have over the past couple of weeks alone have received more dms about stuff that stephen a smith has said more than we ever have in the entirety of lamar jackson taking over as the starting quarterback for the ravens but it just seems as though with stephen a smith we we can already tell especially with this most recent clip uh it, it, we can tell that lamar jackson is never never ever going to be good enough for Stephen A. Smith. He is never going to get the approval of one Stephen A. Smith. And like I always say, if Lamar ain't your style, that's fine. If you would rather another quarterback, that's fine. There's no problem with that. But at the same time, even if something is not your style, you got to acknowledge when it's working, it's working. And if it's successful, then it's successful. So with Stephen A. Smith's latest clip, we will call it, why are we, why are we talking about, why are we sort of moving the goalposts again? It's like Ravens, they go out and just straight destroy the Chargers. They had these Chargers wanting to move back to San Diego. That's how bad they beat them. But they they demolished the Chargers. So instead of, oh man, these Ravens, they they top team in the AFC. And they literally are because they 5-1 and one all by themselves. But instead of that, Stephen A. Smith, after week six, after week six, there are 17 games to be played this season. But after week six, Stephen A. Smith is looking around like, man, I don't have anything that I can say bad about these Ravens and more particularly Lamar Jackson in the regular season. So you know what? After week six, you know what? Let me advance 12 weeks in the future. Because let me advance to where we get to the playoffs and we're in the playoffs. All right. I, oh, I got a banger now. Watch this. Lamar Jackson, I, I, I don't trust his accuracy. I still question his accuracy. And I question uh, it, it, he needs to prove himself in the playoffs. Now, does Lamar Jackson need to prove himself in the playoffs? Yes, he does, even though he, I mean, he has already. But 
we we are especially us Ravens fan. We want Lamar to Jackson. We want Lamar Jackson to prove everything in the playoffs, and we want him and the Ravens to walk away victorious come February. But Stephen A. Smith was also saying that Lamar Jackson that he needs to win and be accurate. He needs to do it when it counts because that's when all the greats do it. That's when all, he said we could talk about Lamar Jackson being phenomenal and da 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 but yeah, he does that in the regular season. I need to see it in the playoffs. And it's crazy because when that's your go-to, if that's your, especially if that's your go-to at this point of the season, then you've already proven that you believe this guy is phenomenal. You've already proven it. Because if it's after week six, and your biggest argument against the Lamar Jackson is, well, <laughs> he's got to prove it in the playoffs. I need to see it in the playoffs. I need to see all this greatness come playoff time. If that's the conversation after week six, then Lamar has won you over, my friend. He's won you over. And I know that Stephen A. Smith, we know he's a Steelers fan, which is fine. But as an analyst... As a professional analyst, and we know Stephen A. Smith, he's one of the more popular analysts. As an analyst, despite what team you're a fan of, just call it how it is. Call it what it is. We ain't got to dance around it. We ain't got to tiptoe around it. We ain't got to beat around the bush. We ain't got to try to avoid it. Just say, man, Lamar, he, that dude is something serious. That, that dude is real deal. You know what? I um I, I questioned his play style before. I I questioned if it would work. I questioned if it would be sustainable. Remember that word? I questioned if this thing could last. I, I questioned if he will finally be figured out. I, I questioned if defenses would catch on to him. I questioned all this stuff throughout these years. But Lamar Jackson and these Ravens, they just keep on winning. And it's crazy because I remember... And again, it's not all fans that are like this. And it's not all fans of a, t of a particular fan base that are like this. But this reminds me back in 2019. In 2019 season, the Ravens were getting ready to play these undefeated Patriots. These Patriots, they were what? I forgot what it was. 8 and 0, 9 and 0, whatever their record was. They were undefeated. But a lot of us Ravens fans were like, huh, they are undefeated. Got to give them that. But they haven't really played the best competition yet they haven't played the best competition. now it is still the Patriots and you know how Patriots get down they, they take care of business but we were like oh, I don't know about that so then the game came and the game went Ravens rolled all over they took care of business against them Patriots and Lamar Jackson is undefeated against Tom Brady by the way but anyway um after that game I remember in the live stream I remember in the comments section of the post game thoughts video and, and I just remember so many Patriots fans saying, you got us now, but do it when it counts. Do it when it counts. And it was like, I, that, I always feel like that's so cringy when people say that. Do it when it counts. And they, they say that after a regular season game. Had they been having a conversation about do it when it counts after a preseason game? That would be one thing. Had they been saying, do it when it counts after a scrimmage, that would be another thing. But for somebody to say, do it when it counts. We need to see it when it counts after a regular season game, especially a regular season game against a conference opponent. Does that not count? Does that regular season game not go towards playoff seeding if both of those teams make the playoffs? Does that regular season game not mean anything? Are, are we just throwing away regular season games now? So with Stephen A. Smith, with, with his words, it's like he, he's, he's contradicting himself to the max. We, we need to see Lamar do this when it counts. Oh, my friends, it does count. Because had he not done it in regular season, then we wouldn't be having none of this postseason talk at all. Had the Ravens not been so successful under him 
in regular season games than the playoffs. Playoffs? He said it best. So all this, we need to see it when it counts talk. Again, that lets me know that he knows that Lamar Jackson and these Ravens are real deal. This lets me know that even though he said, oh, I still got some questions about Lamar Jackson. No, you don't. No, you don't. We know you don't. You know you don't. It's, it's, this is one of those things where these, these media guys, and I, I love how my guy, um, oh, I forget his, Strong Opinion Sports. I love how he said it in one of his episodes on his YouTube channel. He said, media guys aren't football guys. And when he said that, I was like, oh, 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 that was so fire. Because it's true. But in this case with Stephen A. Smith, I enjoy Stephen A. Smith. I, I know that he is a, um, just like Skip Bayless, that's why them two, they work so good together. They are almost professional trolls, almost. And we know ESPN, when, when ESPN, is, when things are a bit rough, they're like, all right, we got to we gotta throw out something crazy. All right, oh, Bart, Bart Scott, go do your thing. But anyway, with Stephen A. Smith, this seems as if this is one of those things where somebody just does not want to come out and say, hey, I was wrong. Hey, you know what? I thought I originally thought this thing, but ah, my fault, y'all. I was wrong. I, I, I really had this opinion formed in my mind that I really thought was fact, but turns out I was wrong. And it, it takes a, a real man to admit that about anything, not just about sports, but just in life, period. It takes somebody with a lot of character, a lot of humility to admit, hey, I was wrong. I remember when we were watching the Colts game on our live stream the other day. I kept telling people, it's not over. It's not over. It's, it's, Ravens got to play better than perfect to get this thing, get this win, but it ain't over. It's a lot of people saying, oh, this game's over. It ain't great what you're talking about. The game, it's over. It's a wrap. But then when the Ravens came back and won, a lot of people were like, hey, we were wrong. We, we thought it was over. I, I was wrong. And I, I really appreciated that. Because it takes, again, it takes somebody with a lot of character to admit that they were wrong. Now me, <laughs> I love being wrong about the Ravens in, in a good way. Because I, I, I picked the Ravens to lose against the Chargers. I didn't, again, y'all know, I, I thought their defense was not going to be able to hold it down. But I was, I was dead wrong. And I've admitted that several times and I got no shame in admitting it too. Because I, I love to be wrong about stuff like that. But um, these guys, they uh, they they real deal, and the the sooner that Stephen A. Smith admits that, without trying to do these outlandish takes and trying to move the goalposts twelve weeks in advance, then I, I I just don't get it. What's the point? What's the point? Why not just say, hey, look, you know what, y'all? Yeah, they 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 something serious. But a lot of people, they just don't want to do that, especially when it comes to Lamar Jackson, because, you know, some people have had said some just wild stuff about him. But again, as we all know, I've been saying this since 2018. He is never going to be good enough for some people. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Uh, and just like when it comes to realistic opinions about Lamar Jackson that Stephen A. Smith has. I'm out. Shout out to Graven.